Well, without a doubt, it's hard to beat a team three times in a row, but Josh, the first two times were very convincing by Colorado School of Mines. The biggest thing for them, don't be overconfident. Well, what's the biggest thing for Metro State? What they did, they went into a 2-3 zone after the four-minute uh, media timeout mark, and coming out that break, had a 9 to nothing run. Got themselves back in this game, and if you would have had a layup right before half, could have cut this lead down to 10 points. Beasley taken away. Up ahead, Ty McGee. Rejected. T.J. Miles, what a play at the rims. They're able to swat that shot away, able to high point that. Usually you see this in football, but you high point it in basketball and knock it away. What a block. It's all night. 13 of 15. D.J. Yeah. Miles offensive the call. And that's the way you take a charge right there. DJ Miles doesn't like the call, but it is the correct call. Avante Nelms, watch him right in the middle of the defense. He comes right into your screen right here. He's set, takes the charge. DJ Miles goes into him. Textbook play. And Wilson. Rasmus Bach doubled up. <laughs> Count it. Chance for the three-point play. Big players making big plays at huge times in the game. Your team's down by seven. You give it to this young man right here, Rasmus Buck, able to lay it in and comes right into your living room. How you doing, Mr. Cameraman? Broadbeck trying to shake loose, step back, and that's going to be offensive. Yeah, he pushed off with the off arm. He doesn't like that call. That's really good defense that time by D.J. Miles getting to the mug of Jared Brobeck. And if you want to stop this young man, this is what you have to do. Take a look at that push, the arm extension. That will be called an offensive foul every time. As for Northern Colorado, no such problems of starting slow or shooting woes. They shoot over 50% in the first half. And Jordan Davis, he got him going early. Well, without a doubt, look at Davis. as he able to get the rock and then go right to the rim as he just turns the corner and able to get to the hole? If you like that once, watch this again. Able to do the exact same move and get right to the cup. And again, if you like that move, watch what he does right here. Grabs the rock and he does it again. Look, it looks like we're just repeating the same highlight three times in a row. We're not. That's what Jordan Davis has done and that's what he does well as well as Mr. Spite. Able to go off of a pick and roll, go to the hole and make it to get the and one. And again, calls for some calls for some help. Spins around, shoots off the wrong leg and is able to get that to go. And then you kick the ball around on a skip pass and then look, fadeaway shot, hand in the face and able to get that shot to fall and then the guy that we profiled as well Sanders able to do some damage right there in the paint spin across go right with the underhand layup and get that to go and then gets the stolen inbound pass kicks it up front and now you get a layup as well so that's exactly what the Bears are doing when they're at their best they're able to get buckets like this be patient get a foul and an and one opportunity and that's the reason why they have the seven point advantage they do at halftime coach I'll leave you with this you see guys right now cutting down the nets what does that mean to you? When you see that, what hits your heart? Uh, it'll be a treasured little piece of nylon for the rest of their lives. And it'll, it'll mean more than a little piece of nylon to them. They'll remember for a long time. Test. Radaba, corner three. And there's Morgan again, but he stepped on the baseline. Yeah, right foot stepped on that painted line. He's out of bounds, but it does show what UNC is able to do. They're able to get whatever shot that they want. And they currently have a 10-point lead, but NAU not going away. Big shot right there coming right out of a timeout. They're only down by 10 with 11.37 to go. You're watching college basketball on CET.